Hello, Ovidio. Can you hear me, Ovidio? Yes. Yes. Very good. How are you today? What? How are you? I am fine, thanks. Good. How was your day? Uh, um, very good. Nice. What time do you start working? Um, I start working at night I am. And what time do you finish? Uh, 7 p.m. Okay. And where do you work? What's the name of the company? Um, in pharmacy. Oh, okay. Good, good. All right. Pamela and Marvin, welcome back. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Did you have a good day? Yes, long but good. Okay, good. Um, what's the distance from your house to your work, Pamela? Mm, I uh, about thirty minutes or. Oh. 20 oh, without that, traffic. That's good. 20 and 30 is, is pretty good. Yes, it's near my house. Good, good, very good. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh -huh. All right, what is today's date? Wednesday? Yes, today Fifth. is Wednesday. 5th February? Exactly. <laughs> today is Wednesday, February 5th. Fifth. Yes. What year? 2020. 2020. What is another form to say 2020? 2020. 2020. So you can say 2020 or you can say 2020. The two options are good. All right. So let's have a small review. Do you remember the activities we did yesterday in the session? Yes. Okay. Can you mention one example of the activities we did yesterday? We talk about the spaces in our house. Good. Yes, we talked about the spaces in our house. Yes. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más? Nubia, Marvin, Ovidio. Uh, yo no estuve ayer. Oh, were you on vacation? No, my husband is sick. Oh sick. my God, okay. All right. So you're and taking- I, And I can. Yes, you couldn't connect to the session. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Is he better? Yes, he's better. Good, very good. Because he has a good nurse. <laughs> sí. She yes. has a good nurse in the house. Yes, yes. Good, very good. <laughs> All right. So yesterday we were discussing, describing different parts of the house and the different furniture, the different objects that you find in each part. For example, what objects can you find in a 
living room. The TV, sofa, sofa, TV, sofa, armchair, armchair, yes, love seat, love seat. What else? Radio. Radio. Exactly, the radio, the stereo. Anything else? What can you find in the garage? Car. A car. A bicycle. What else? Tools. Tools. Tools, very good. A bicycle. Yes, very good. What can you find in your bedroom? A bed. A bed. The closet. The closet. The table. What table? Um, night table. Night table, yes. Night table. Night table. And where do you see your face every day? Mirror. mirror. In the mirror. Exactly. Good. And what things do you find in the dining room? A table, the dining room a set. chair. Aha, uh -huh, the dining room set, chairs, table. What is the name of the place where you put dishes? Dishes. Um, oh. Oh, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's the same name in Spanish. The same name you use in you use, we use in Spanish. Pantry. Yes, a pantry. No. Yes, a pantry. All right. Um, any questions about yesterday? Um, cuando nos pregunta qué cosas hay en el comedor, there are, there is. contaría decir, eh, digamos, si encima de la mesa está La sal, la ketchup, todas esas cosas cuentan como ah, objetos o... Si están ahí de manera permanente en su comedor, sí se pueden incluir. Okay. Aunque generalmente cuando se está describiendo el espacio en sí, pues solamente se refiere al, a lo que es los muebles. Pero okay. si usted de manera permanente, digamos usted, Pamela, se pone a trabajar con Nubia en parejas y Nubia le pregunta, What's there in your dining room? Le empieza a describir los muebles y puede que tenga un florero, que tenga el ketchup and, and things like that. But that is optional. Okay. Thank yes. You. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Any other questions? Anybody else? Alguien más? No? No. no. Okay. So let's begin. Let me show you something. Have you visited the platform? No. Yes. Okay. Um, can you uh, see the yes. image? Yes, yes, yes. Can you see the image? Yes. Okay. Um, what do you see in the picture? How many uh, people in the picture? Two. Two, people. Two. Two people. How many men? One. How many women? One. Two. Okay, oh. good. Okay, can you give me a description about the men? He's wearing yes. a blue shirt. Aha. Uh -huh. He's wearing a blue shirt. How yes. do you say Man manga larga in English? Hmm? How do you say manga larga in English? Larger. Okay, let me put this here. Se los voy a enviar al chat de WhatsApp. Estamos por acá y le vamos a poner long sleeve shirt. Got it? Long sleeve shirt. Okay. So, si yo digo manga larga, long sleeve shirt, ¿cómo voy a decir camisa manga corta? Short sleeve. Exactly. Sleeve es manga. Yes, sleeve es manga. Long sleeve, short, short. sleeve. Okay, so he's wearing 
a blue long sleeve shirt. A blue long sleeve shirt. Yes. Does blue. he have anything under? Yes, a white t-shirt. Very good, a white t-shirt. Ahí les acaba de preguntar, ¿tiene él algo más abajo de la camisa? Yes, a t-shirt, una camiseta. What color is the t-shirt? White. 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 Okay, is he wearing shorts? No. No, no he's not. No. No. What is he wearing? Pants. Pants. Uh -huh. What color are the pants? Beige. Yeah, you can say beige, you can say khaki, beige or khaki. And how old do you think he is? ¿Qué edad le calcula? 35. 35. Okay. What about his hair? Does he have long hair? Short hair. What color is his hair? Blonde. Blonde. Good. What about the lady? What description can you give me about the lady? She has uh, green blue. Yes. She has a green blouse. Blouse. Yes. Mm. Is she wearing pants? Um, sure. No, she's Very wearing Very good. So, is she wearing pants? No, she's not. She's wearing... Skirt. Skirt. Ahí les acaba de caer en el chat otra vez, en el chat de WhatsApp. Skirt. What color is the skirt? Blue. Blue. Can you see the material of the skirt? Jeans. Jeans? Jeans? Okay, now jeans is the style. Pero oh. la tela en sí es lona. How do you say mm. lona in English? Long. Mm. Denim. Denim. Ahí les acaba de aparecer Denim. en el chat. Denim. 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 Denim is the material that you use to make jeans. Mm. Denim. Um, how old is she? 27. 30. 27, 30. 30. Okay, fine, good. Now, in this part here, where is she? Where is she? In her um, new apartment. Exactly. In her new, her apartment. new apartment. What's the name of this? What's the name of this? How do you say ventana in English? Window. Mirror. Mirror. Window. A window. 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 And how do you say escalera? Stair. Stair. Okay. Um, Stair. Not really. Escalera se dice ladder. Ahí se los acabo de mandar al, al chat. Si son gradas que la conectan del primero al segundo piso, entonces usted dice stairs. But in this case, it's a ladder. Ladder. Ajá, escalera, como la que usted ocupa para cambiar un foco, arreglar el cielo falso. You say ladder. Okay. And what's this here? How do you say cajas in English? Box. Yes. Box. Box. Box, if it's singular, if it's plural, boxes. you say boxes. boxes. Exactly. Very good. All right. Any questions about the picture? Yes. How do we say the color of skin? Uh, of dark, hair skin. Dark skin. Dark. Así como decir... Um, Morena, dark skin. Ahí está en el chat. ¿Y, y piel blanca? Ajá. You say light skin. Teacher, eh, pero yo, yo sabía que piel morena es brunette. Algo así. Yeah, brunette. 
Brunette. You can say brunette. Generalmente el brunette se le aplica a aquellas cabello, personas ¿no? que son eh, afroamericanas, pero no, no tienen muy, muy, muy oscura la piel. Me explico. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, brunette. Brunette no es las personas que tienen cabello oscuro. No. Hace referencia a la piel, brunette. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any other questions about the picture? Antes de practicar el diálogo, ¿alguna pregunta sobre la foto, la imagen? Mm, no. All right. So, how many people in the conversation? Two. Two, two people. So, I need two volunteers. I need Brenda and I need Chris. I'm Brenda. Very good. Nubia, you are Brenda. And who is Chris? 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 Are you there, Chris? Sure. What does mean the West? What does mean West? Uh, yes. What else? Yes. West. The first oh, guess, guess, guess. Um, guess tiene varios significados, pero en este pla, en esta, en este caso dice adivina qué. Oh yeah. Think. Guess what? Adivina. Ya. Yeah. Digamos alguien le dice a usted, mire qué edad tiene usted, usted le dice guess, guess. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, so ya tenemos a Nubia, she is Brenda, and where is Chris? Chris, Chris. I can be Chris. Yes, thank you, Pamela. One, two, three, go. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Apartment, perdón. Uh -huh. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, I have a big living room and a, a, a small bedroom. Mm -hmm. A bedroom. Bathroom. And bath. Uh -huh. Muy bien. <laughs> bathroom and a kitchen. Yes. Kitchen. Yes. Where is it? Teacher, no le puede dar más. Sure. I'm sorry. I'm... Thanks. Um, on, on like, 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 Lakeview Drive. Yes, Lakeview Drive. Good. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yeah, it does. I have a great view of another apartment building. Okay, good. Thank you. It has a great view. All right, good. Um, any questions about vocabulary here? Can you say the phrase, what's it like? What's it like? like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? It's so this is it. Not it really. Like? So guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Mm -hmm. Ella sarcásticamente le dice de que tiene... Que Vista a otro tiene? apartamento. Ajá, otro edificio. Ok. What can you see from your house? Desde su casa agarra algún, alguna vista usted. Anybody? A mango tree. Oh, a mango tree. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Desde mi casa yo miro el volcán de Izalco. Oh. Así a lo lejos, pero se disfruta. Ya, yeah, de Izalco Volcano. 
Están todos invitados a mi casa cual, cuando quieran. Vaya. Thank you. Ok. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, I. Yes. I need now. Excuse me? I need, I need uh, know the word on the lay view, right? Uh huh. What does mean this this sentence? Okay, when it says where is it, donde queda, el nombre yes. de la calle se llama Lakeview, oh, yeah. que traducido dice Vista Lago. Oh, yeah. Pero no hay ningún pango, lo pango. <laughs> Donde encontraron cementerios clandestinos, qué fregado eso. Yeah, yeah. Lakeview, Vista Lago, yeah. así se llama la calle. Lakeview, right. Yes. Okay. En, en inglés, eh, en español nosotros tenemos avenida, calle, bulevar. Generalmente esos son los tres. En inglés hay varios términos para decir avenue, street, boulevard. Está también este que significa drive. Generalmente lo aplican para calles pequeñas y angostas. So, on Lakeview Drive. Like Rodeo Drive? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Drive, Rodeo Drive, Rodeo Drive, yes. Okay, anything else? Algo más, algo más? No? no. All right. So, yesterday, we were also practicing with there is and there are. Do you see the document? Yes. No. <laughs> there is no. Uh -huh. There's what? It's small. It's small. It's small. Um, can you, can you put it? Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the exercise is related with there is and there are. Uh, look at the first example. What is the first example? There is a library next to the park. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dice ahí en español? Hay una librería cerca del parque. A la par del parque. Very good. Look at number two. All the students went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. ¿Qué dice ahí? Todos los estudiantes. Todos los estudiantes se fueron a casa. No hay ningún estudiante en el salón. No hay estudiante en el salón. Ajá. No hay estudiantes en el salón. Esa palabra any, eh, en español no existe en este caso. Porque si yo le quito ese any, el mensaje es el mismo. There aren't students in the classroom. Ahí está diciendo que no hay estudiantes en el salón. En inglés se pone el any para hacer doble énfasis de que lo que está diciendo es negativo. So there aren't any students in the classroom. Any no significa ninguno. Eh, depende cómo lo esté ocupando. En el caso de there is, there are, eh, viene siendo algo innecesario prácticamente. Pero sí, eh, como usted lo acaba de decir, any puede, puede ser ocupado de diferentes maneras. Puede ser neutral, puede ser positivo, puede ser negativo. Todo depende de cómo lo ocupen. Ok. Yes. So, ok. Uh, volunteer for number three. There are, there are 15 states in the United States. The United States. Very good. There are 50 states in the United States. ¿Cuáles son los dos estados que no están con todo el resto del grupo? Hawaii. And? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Not really. No. Alaska and uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Alaska and Hawaii. 
esto son, son dos estados, pero están separados. En el mapa que solemos ver todos los días, solo hay 48. 48 states. So, Alaska and Hawaii are separate. Ok, number four. Number four. No, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Ok. It says, nope, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Y así sucesivamente, usted y su pareja tienen que encontrar las respuestas para cada uno de los ejercicios. Entonces, lo voy a poner en pareja para que practiquen, para que todos tengan la oportunidad de practicar la pronunciación y al mismo tiempo, <coughs> perdón, eh, asegurarnos que estamos ocupando el there is, there are, como debe de ser. So, right now, I'm going to make groups. Esta okay. imagen ya la tienen en el chat de WhatsApp. De todas maneras, la tenemos aquí ahorita. Okay. Eh, so, ahorita procedo a... a Hacer las, las parejas. And I will be visiting you. Here we go. Eight people. Go. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. 50 states in the United States. Okay. Uh, no, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Okay. There are a, a message from me. What? There are a message from me. No, are uh, there? Is there? Is there? Is there a message for me? Uh -huh. Marvin and Gloria. Tenemos problemas ahí con, con la imagen, no la tiene ella para practicar ahorita. Oh. Y Gloria, ¿está usted en el chat de WhatsApp? Sí. Ok, porque ahí lo envié hace un ratito. No sé si lo tiene en la mano y si no se lo vuelvo a enviar ahorita. Ah, reenvíalo, por favor, porque okay. no... ahorita, pueda que se haya... Ahí lo acabo de enviar de nuevo. No, 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 no me ha caído. Okay, okay. No le ha caído todavía. No. Okay. Let me check. Eh, ¿Con qué número termina su celular? Treinta y ocho cero cinco. Pero no aparece. 
y, y está segura que ya se unió. Sí. sí. Logra ver la imagen. Sí, hoy, hoy sí la veo. Se la voy a compartir porque no, no, el número de seguro no lo tiene de WhatsApp. Sí, porque no aparece agregada. Ah. Pero ahí se ve, se ve bien, ¿verdad? Yep, it's clear. Es sí, de sí. Teacher, ayúdenlo en la número 9, por Number nine. Let's check number nine. It is a... Are is the correct or not? I'm going to this document right here. Okay, number nine. There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. There are. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que dice ahí en español? Porque no, no entiendo qué dice. Hay un par de cosas que tengo que hacer en la tarde. A few things. A few quiere decir pocos, pero también significa un par. Entonces, a few things es un par. Un par de cosas. Uh -huh. So I can ask you, how many beers did you drink? ¿Qué le pregunto ahí? ¿Cuántas cervezas se tomó? Ajá, y usted me responde, only a few. Only a few. Solo unas cuantas. Solo un par, dice. Pero es par, a ver cuántas eran. <risa> Okay, I will come back. Okay. Okay. Public holidays. Okay. Uh, how many countries uh, are there in the world? Va usted, Marvin. Your turn, Marvin. Um, how many days how she is smiling smiling okay uh, there are only three more days before the exam let's study Okay. Good. Do you like exams? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nobody likes exams. I don't like exams. I don't like evaluations. Yeah. So, J Diaz, what's the meaning of J? Uh, Ju Julio. Julius. How old are you, Julius? Uh, 41 years. 41? Four, yes. You sound very young. Yes. <laughs> you, I thought you were going to say 21 or 22. <laughs> yep. Tiene una voz bien joven este muchacho. And where do, you, where do you live, Julius? Uh, um, Santa Tecla, Merliot. Oh, Merliot. Okay. And where do you work? In Tradesa. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. And you have one son? One. One son? Un hijo? Uh, two. Two. Two, two sons. sons. Okay. Sí. Good. What ages? Um, um, chill, el son, eh, My son is? Is eh, Julio Junior. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, have a... He is? Ah, sorry. He is eh, 
if 11, no, 12, no, 13 years old. Okay. He's 13. And daughter, and daughter uh, is, is uh, 13, no, 12 years. Okay. So only one year difference? Yes, one year. Okay. Okay. Nubia, do you have children? Yes. How many do you have? Two. What ages? Um, when a baby, two years. And my daughter about... Is? Is. Okay. My daughter is um, eight. 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 Eight and two. Eight. Six year difference. Okay, six años de diferencia. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions about the exercise? Any questions about the exercise? Questions. No questions. No okay, very good. Okay, so yesterday there was an activity that we did not complete. Do you remember the activity? Do you remember the activity? ¿Cuál actividad fue que dijimos que le íbamos a iniciar hoy? El, el texto de San Antonio. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. It was the, um, the reading uh, from... Uh, from a text and the reading is right here do you see the reading yes yes okay yes. all right um what color is the lady's house purple 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 and and um, blue light blue. blue are you sure pink Pink. Ah, pink. pink. Yes. <laughs> it's purple and pink. Daltonico ya por la hora. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what's the name of this part of the house? Uh, the yard. Porsche. Mm, no. Porsche. Yes, that uh. is the Porsche. La parte de enfrente, tal como está en esa foto, se le llama Porsche. Yes. Ahora, si adelante de eso hay áreas verdes y todo, entonces se le llama yard. The front yard. The front yard. Ok. So voy a leerlo la primera vez. Usted le pone atención. Y después voy a necesitar voluntarios para que lo lean también. Dice así. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. Mm -hmm. yes. Any questions there? 
No. Preguntas? No. No fue. Okay. What color is your house? Purple and pink. Purple and pink. Okay, but your house, your house, what color is your house? Green. My. Green. Green and what? White and green. Okay, Pamela, you're white and green. Nubia, yeah. what color is your house? Green and light pink. Okay, Vladimir? White and gray. Okay, Ovidio? Um, green only. Only green? Only green. Okay, Maria, what color is your house? For me, it's, it's blue. Blue. Your blue. house is blue. See, si, for only, me. Okay, only blue, or do you have a combination? Uh, purple. Purple. Um, purple. The floor is uh, pink. Okay, but your house, your house, Maria. Su casa, la suya. No, I, the, the see how the text, in the text. Oh, okay, but your house, what color is your house? My, my house yellow. is, is a yellow. Okay, On, yellow? only yellow, only yellow? Yellow and deliver the... The dining room uh -huh. is a, um, is a, uh, color is this? Uh, beige? Be uh -huh. Is it beige? Peach? Uh -huh. And, uh, yes, uh -huh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh, peach. Okay. The, the, in, in, okay. I know. Burgundy. So. Burgundy. Es, Burgundy. Como, es como violeta, ¿verdad? Es como un rosado vieja, pero... Ay, no, no sé. Ok, that's ok. That's fine. Okay. Gloria, what, what color is your house, Gloria? My house is orange and white okay. color. Orange is nice. Orange is a nice color. Marvin, what color is your house? Pensé que estaba preguntando la casa esa. Huh? Marvin, can you hear me? Yes. What color is your house? Uh, pues para decir ahí que no tiene color, como. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no color. No color, my house no color. Okay, good. And Julius, Julio it's, Diaz? Is green and blue. Green and blue. Eric Estrada? Red and gray. Okay, red and gray. ¿Se acuerdan ustedes de Eric Estrada? Yeah. Who was Eric Ponchadelo. Estrada? Poncharelo, exactly. So we have a movie star in the, in the group. Okay, good. Um, any a el color de su casa o okay. se me olvidó alguien. No. Okay. I need a volunteer to read the information about Sandra Cisneros, please. Yes, Maria. Okay. Please. Please. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American. American writer? Writer. Writer. She is famous for her in interesting okay. stories. She's famous for her interesting stories. She is famous. Yes. For her interesting stories. Okay. The, the house has a porch. With a pink floor. Mm -hmm. Hello. The rooms are green. Gracias. Pink and purple. There are many books and colorful 
paintings. Yes. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are what? ¿Cómo dijo white? White, white, white. or beige. White or beige. So, her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think uh -huh. her house is too colorful. But yes. Mrs. Cisneros loves it. Loves it. Very good. Loves Thank you. It. Very good. Very good. All right. So here we go. Voy a leer el segundo artículo y de la misma manera voy a pedir que otro voluntario lo lea de nuevo. Dice, every year many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Alguna pregunta relacionada al, al vocabulario o la pronunciación? Eh, what do you mean, Hogan? Hogan es el nombre propio que se le llama a las casas, en este caso, de los nativos americanos. Oh, ok. Entonces viene siendo esta casa que está en la imagen, se le llama Hogan. Hogan. Okay. Yes. Any others? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Tribes. 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 Son tribus. Tribus. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Dice, para aprender acerca de las tribus americanas nativas. And a uh, wood burning. Ajá. A wood burning stove. Ok. What's the meaning of wood? ¿Qué significa solamente la palabra wood? Madera. Madera. Oh. Very good. ¿Qué significa burn? No sé. Eh, quemar. Quemar. Very good. Stove. Es cocina. 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 Entonces ahí lo que le está diciendo que es una cocina de leña. Ajá. Que aquí, aquí se le llama horno. Esos los ocupan en el, en el campo para hornear el pan. Ok. Sí, eh, Horno eh, de leña. Sí, son, son como, ¿cómo es que la, ¿cuál es la palabra? Ah, ah, se me olvida. Oh my goodness. ¿Cómo se, hay una palabra eh, así como tradicional, eh, casero, son bien caseros. Ok, um, any other questions? Questions, questions. What no. is Hogan? Hogan. Hogan es el nombre de la casita esa que está en la imagen. Okay. Yes. Hogan. Hogan. Yes. Hogan. Hogan. Coins. Yes. Any questions? Homeless people. Uh. No question. Okay. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Ok, so voy a hacer la última vez um, parejas para que ustedes tomen su turno leyendo. So everybody gets a chance to read. So let me get this here. Now, miremos dónde es que está esta cuestión. Okay, todos tienen las imágenes en el WhatsApp de, en el chat de WhatsApp. Las, yes. las envié ayer, pero por si acaso 
las ha perdido. Ahorita se las voy a reenviar. Ok, let me check this here. Uh -huh -huh. Du -du -du. One, two. Ahí va la primera. Y ahí va la otra. So, se toman turnos leyendo. And here we go again. Aquí vamos. Hi. Hello again. Hello. Hi, aquí. Okay, so who's going to start reading? ¿Quién va a empezar a leer? Yo pudiera. Okay, please. Hola, hola. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who's going to start reading? Uh, ahorita busco mi imagen porque no la veo. Okay. Nubia y Julio ya tienen la imagen lista. Yes. Ok. So cualquiera de los dos puede empezar, los demás le ponen atención y, y ahí se turnan leyendo. Ok. Good. Eh, inicio. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra C. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher in Lord, Arizona, in in the uh, visitor in stand in the Hogan, in her Hogan, is has three child, two birds on house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful. But Miss Cisneros loves it. Good. Next one. ¿Quién sigue? Uh, Marvin. Marvin. Some people stay in traditional Native American homes. <coughs> Kaya Hogan, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her home. It has three chairs, two beds on the floors, and a hood burning stove. Her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. Okay. And now Vladimir. Vladimir. Putin. Con el otro, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Every year, uh, many people be... Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in tradition, traditional Native American homes. All Colel Hogan, sí que no se lee muy bien. Um, a teacher from Arizona in B visitors to stay in her Hogan. Hogan. A teacher, her guest about Native American traditions. Okay. Okay. Va a leer la otra, Ovidio. La American. La, la que no leyó la vez pasada. Hoy al contrario. Ay, este, ya, ya me tiene localizado. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. 
Did everybody get the opportunity to read? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions about the reading? Any questions about the reading? No. Okay. Acuérdense que para pronunciar la palabra nativo en inglés, usted dice native. La letra A suena como cuando usted dice baby. Entonces no se dice native, sino que se dice native. 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 Native, native, yes, native, native, native. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we're going to stop here and we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. So have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.